Ain't no way Bakugo about to die. Ain't no way Bakugo about to fucking die, yo. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way Baka go dead, bro. Ain't no fucking way Baka goes dead, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, Bakugo's dead. Holy shit. I can't even lie. I've been hating on My Hero Academia for a long period of time. I've been like, yo, they need to kill more people off. I did not expect them to kill Bakugo off. What? That's like Merc and Vegeta. That's like Merc and Vegeta. That's like Merc and Uryu. Sasuke. Wow. So apparently Bakugo's dead. But I could have sworn that movie wasn't wasn't canon. I thought that the movie um, itself, where Midoriya shared his quirk with Bakugo, wasn't canon because it seemed like Bakugo had a connection or some type of uh, connection whatsoever, shall I say, to One for All. As though he was synced directly in with um, All Might. Like he was channeling that energy somehow. But again, I thought that that movie wasn't supposed to be canon. Because in the if you don't know, in the movie, Bakugo ended up sharing... Um, well, Midoriya ended up sharing One For All with Bakugo. And he was using the last bit of his power so that way him and Bakugo could fight the, uh, the enemy together. Um, so... Since Midori himself couldn't defeat, couldn't match up to All Might's power in order to defeat the enemy, he would just use Bakugo as help for the one for all power. So that way, both of them to, together can use the power and fight, be able to fight um, uh, the, the big villain. But the power didn't get a chance to transfer. I don't know whether it's a situation where Bako had to accept the power or whether the power itself had to be uh, timed a certain type of way in order to complete the transfer. But apparently the transfer didn't fully go through. Apparently Bakugo and Midori have to be conscious at the exact same time while it's still being transferred in order for the power to completely set. But Midori ended up still retaining the power that he uh, uh, won for all. So apparently Bak goes dead. Um, the parents now have to bury their damn child. And can I say how amazing this episode was? You didn't know what was going to happen. Who was what was going to happen to who. Uh, where the story itself was going to go. But this area kept you impactful 
I mean, well, it kept you engaged, should I say. It was impactful. The animation was on budget. As much as I hate on My Hero Academia, I only hate on it because it tries everything in its power to be similar to comic books. Its entire concept is Star Wars and comic books. That's it, its, its base foundation. But it doesn't adapt any of the things that make those things great. It doesn't show the um, the realism of, oh, this person can die, that person can die, this can happen to this person. Uh, people can sometimes not get the things that they want, or they can sometimes just not become great. That, that can possibly happen. Heroes can fall to the dark side. Sometimes heroes don't always do the right thing, but they, in the end, do their best to course correct themselves later on. And that's the thing that I think that My Hero Academia fails at. But if, which I don't think that they, they will, but if they are able to keep Bakugo dead, I will actually have to give them more points. I will have to give them more fucking points. Because think about it. There's like, people have killed, well, Jujutsu Kaisen set the standard of killing a Sakura character, a character in the big three group of the anime, but killing the secondary protagonist? What? Killing the secondary protagonist? Killing the Vegeta? Killing the fucking Zoro? Killing the fucking... <laughs> The fucking Uriu? Ain't no way. But I, I, oh my God, I am so excited to see what else happens from this. But I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. If you are, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, love me, and Talk me down below, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.